there is uh, actually a crew car, an M series car that is still in service. And uh, it's in the car A, eh? like some fish. And we'll go along and uh, look at the other cars on the train. The Dorney car in the spirit of that break is called the Tucker Box Restaurant. Top of the sitting car springing up at the rear of the train. And, uh, it's supposed to be a lounge car, I'm going to look for that. Look and see. This is the dining car on the train for the Tucker Box restaurant. This is one of the new or rebuilt uh, remount cars that had, it actually had the wall, wall taken out between them to make two into one which is a twinette the train is on platform 10 at Rome Street in Brisbane I'm um, slightly disappointed that there's no actual lounge car on this but there are two sleeping cars plus a crew car and two sitting cars and a dining car I'm booked on it on the 4th of July and I hope the lounge car will be available by that time well, we'll just get the train departing Roman Street in a moment. And not a very large crowd on this, by the way, but I've had a look at the sleeping cars to convert it to twin out the room out. Now, um, I was a bit disappointed there's no actual lounge car on this train, and I understand one is to be converted from an existing stainless steel sitting car, and by the time I go in July, it should be running. Uh, this train is, it, is, is intended that it will run for the next 15, 20 years. Well, good afternoon. Uh, Saturday, the 28th of March, 2015, and um, you've just had a look at the uh, Spirit of the Outback cars and the departure of the train. Uh, it's both good and bad, in my opinion. It's uh, good to see that the train's running and that they've converted the Remet cars into Remet and Twinet cars. Well, it's a pretty basic conversion. Uh, in fact, Queensland Rail and or the new Labor government in Queensland could order that similar cars be placed on the inlander and westlander trains and that the snack bar lounge be created for those trains and that save the trains. At the present time, uh, the system is very, very poor, uh, most unsatisfactory. I, I travelled on the Westlander and had five crew and seven passengers, for example. Uh, we've got so-called breakfast, which is uh, uh, orange juice, cereal and a cup of tea and an apple. But that's all there is and there's no pr proper facilities on the train. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and I've got a couple of photos to follow. So, thank you for viewing.